I haven't did a video in so long. It's it's been a while, but I'm here now. Um, I just got a new charger station, as you can see. You can see a charger station capable for PS4. Got this on Amazon for seventeen ninety nine. I'll give you a link down below. There's two different kinds. I got this one. This was pretty cheap. I think it was the regular price was nineteen ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine. But I'll leave you the link, and then there's another one. It was twenty four ninety nine, so I think that's the one that was fifty nine or forty nine that range. But I got this one for seventeen ninety nine, so I'm gonna see how it works. Um, as you can see, just capable for PS four. I'm not too sure if Xbox has one, but I know for PS four, this is what's gonna be looking like. But I just took it out of the package, but this is what it looks like. Got two charging stations and two fans right there, and some USB, um, the USB ports right there. So I just took it out of the package, and uh, this is what it looks like. Just like this, uh, the fans, because I know it's my PS4 when I play, because I play my PS4 a lot, um, especially for Netflix and all that stuff. But as you can see, not too much packaging, just the box, and the bag, there's no uh, instructions or nothing like that. And it's pretty easy. It's a charging station. It's the same one I have. It's the same brand that I had when I bought the other charging station with no fan a couple of years ago. But as you can see, there's the ports right here. Here's the ports. And, um... All the airwaves go through here. Make sure that the PS4 is uh, pretty cool. Here's these little holders to keep it in place. And then, um, what else they have? Oh, forgot. Your charging stations for your PS4. So, um, what I'm gonna have is I have one of the controllers. So, what I'm gonna do is just try to figure out how it goes on. But let me turn off my PS4 for a second. I can put it on rest mode, but yeah, I can put it on rest mode. Alright, so I'm going to try to figure out how to kind of like put my PS4 on the hook it. I'm going to hook it some way. Okay, so, alright, so this is how it goes. You put your little tabs these tabs right here into a socket okay. like that and you just hook it in like that make sure that it's in place and not moving it's a little juggy right here but it's in place can't want to want to push it in or push it in too hard but you can tell that you're in place if you turn it upside down like this. So it's in place. And you got the USB uh, cord. So you stick this into your PS4 to the USB port so the fans can start running. And basically charge your controllers. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hook my thing up. Hook up another PS4 controller. I think I got a red controller. But... I'm going to show you guys how it works and everything like that. So just give me a good couple of minutes so I can get it. Alright, so I just place. pulled up my uh, charging station up to the PS4 right now. And it's basically, this one has like a little socket. This is the one I had. Same type of brand of that one. Um, basically, it kind of like socked in here because you kind of like, kind of felt it. This one, if I, once I show you, it's basically just, it's like, it's very, I would say, not narrow, but pretty wide for your PS4. And it exactly fit my PS4. This one kind of fit too, but it was kind of like not in place, but I'm surprised my PS4 didn't fall. But it was good. This was the time being until it came out with a fan system. And, it, you know, the beauty of it, it hides the PS4 controller. So it won't show it, that bulkiness because my TV's right here. And the, and the PS4 is right there, but, you know, 
the controller's on the other side, so you won't see it. If you keep if you're like a neat person like who I am, they keep all my you know you know um technology wise and try to keep all those wires and keep all the dust out of there. If you're that type of person, this is good for you. So I'm gonna show you how it is. It's pretty easy if you had a charging station. Basically, this is what it is. Um the charging station what I was talking about so okay got some components here that I'm going to show you this is the power button to turn on the fan um all right so this is the power button to turn off the fan and all and off as you can see the USB port especially if you have like your um your headsets your wireless headsets or you want to charge like actual you know charger uh extra controllers or you want to charge your phone, your iPad, or anything like that, bam, this is it right here. So what I'm going to do is this part right here. You're basically going to put this into the port of this, of your PS4, because this is what's going to be running off of. And the light comes on. Okay? Because you can't put it here. Okay? Like, I doubt you can put it here. Because it's not going to turn on. So, no. If you're going to ask that question, no, you can't put it there. Okay? So you have to put it onto your into your PS4 port. There it is. The light is on. I'm going to turn on my PS4. Light went back on it, but it came back on to show that it's on. second here uh, I'm trying to find something turn off that for a second that's just the uh, the CD in my PS4 but I'm gonna see if the fans gonna be on so give us that is pretty quiet I can hear it. it. Sucks up all that that heat. It's, it's cooling my PS4 because my PS4 back here. See where my hand is? It gets hot back there. So it seems like it's sucking all the heat and stuff down to here. So that's pretty neat. See? Oh, my PS4 isn't where my TV is. That's basically where I make all the games. But as you can see, this is it right here. This is the port of where everything is. Hopefully, these are charged. Hopefully, it is. But I will see. I'll come back set up another video later I will let my controller die a little bit at 2% one of these down maybe like 2 bars and see if it charges my PS4 in the next day but I mean my controller in the next day but this is basically what it is right here so this is the power button that you turn off the fan I don't know if you guys can hear me. This is where the fan is kind of cool in the PS4. I'm going to turn it off. It has like a motor sound to it. But back here is not as hot as it can seem because it gets hot back there when it's on now it's picking back up a little bit hot so i'm gonna turn it back on let me see if i can uh
pretty sturdy in there. That's good. Push this to the side. Show you guys. How it's gonna be. That's the fan. That's how it's gonna sound. Turn it off. Not gonna see the fan kind of moving, but that's how it's gonna be. It is cool down there. It's not as hot. So I'll put back my PS4 back in here because I don't want it broken. And it stays in there, pretty sturdy. So it, it is good charging station. You can possibly can get for seventeen ninety nine. Very sturdy. Keep your PS4 pretty good. So as you can see, that is the charging station for my PS4. $17.99 on Amazon. Um, if you have Prime, probably won't have to pay shipping or handling. So I don't know how much the shipping and handling will cost. But I will definitely, definitely, definitely put the link down below. But you can get one if you want. If you want those people that is not cheap and you don't want to buy a cheap charging station, there's there's another one. It's for $24.99. So you can get that one. I have a leave a leave a leave a link down below for that one. That's twenty four ninety nine. This one I got was seventeen ninety nine. So I'm gonna leave two links down below of which one you can get, which one has best reviews, and tell you the truth, the one that's twenty four ninety nine and the one that was seventeen ninety nine are the number one best sellers on Amazon. So both of them works pretty well. So if you're the type of person who just looking for just a regular charging stand station and don't care, you can get that one. Um, there's there's another charging station too. I got one. It's in a previous video. Um, just a regular Energizer charging stand, and that one's about like nineteen ninety nine. I got that one too, because I got so many controllers you can possibly can think of. Um, what else? That is pretty uh, decent. Um, oh, if you're a type of person who is not like me to have a charging station, and another charging station for my PS4 like I just showed you there's either there's another one it's just the charging station but it has four controller ports so they have one on this side and one on the right side so there's four of those stations to charge your controllers if you know those type of people who have your friends over and play games all day we have that one too so you can get that one too um, other than that like I said, I'll leave the link down below for both of those charging stations. If I find the other one that is have four stations too, I will give you that one too that has that one. So hopefully, you know, whatever one suits you best, you can get. So other than that, probably I would say maybe next week I'll have, I haven't decided if I want to get the Street of Fire 5 collection. Or just get just the Street Fighter game for you guys. And then probably later down the road, I'll probably get Hitman. Um, the Division, I haven't... Mm, I'm kind of iffy on that. And then hearing people who play the beta kind of said it, it gets boring after a while. I don't know if that's just the beta. Because I know when I played Destiny's beta, it didn't quite got boring after a while. I think I, I played the USC beta. That was okay. That was just like... That wasn't really, you know, I, I'm mostly, I'm mostly, when I play like sports game, I'm mostly like career mode type of person. So I have to wait till the career mode to get me inside the game. Um, Mortal Kombat X L is coming out. So if you have Mortal Kombat um, X, trade it in at GameStop and get XL. Or if you never played Mortal Kombat, wait for that one. Because I guess XL comes with all the DLCs of the previous X, Mortal Kombat X. <clears throat> so far I've been playing 2K16 haven't posted videos of that either but if you haven't seen me posting videos I'm went back to school so that's kind of why I haven't been posting videos at all this is going to be like my first video posted since 2016 <laughs> so it's been a while since I've been posting 
but hopefully once school kind of calms down the school work calms down a little bit probably like around april or may ish i will definitely start posting back videos um i haven't really decided what to get it throughout 2016 destiny just announced that they're going to release a, a larger expansion pack of destiny so i'll see what happens i would say they probably release it around like maybe april may because usually well the last time i think was the house of wolf that got released around like may so i would say may they're going to release that expansion pack um of course the ceo he got he got stepped down and then yet here comes this big ass announcement so that was pretty interesting um what else oh yeah they're making destiny 2 so that's coming out next year so they didn't come out this year with it um another games that made an announcement this week assassin's creed's not coming out with new game intel info nothing then for 2016 so no new game for assassin's creed i just went on the internet and igm just posted that call of duty is coming out 2016 so that's pretty crazy so <laughs> black ops 3 came and boom here comes another i don't know if it's maybe ghost Go, call of duty ghost remember ghost i don't know i remember there was advanced warfare i like the advanced warfare better than ghost i don't know I like any damn Call of Duty game. I don't know. I'm just I never played Call of Duty like that, but they were pretty good. Um, what else made an announcement this week? I think that was basically. Oh, if you guys if you guys do remember this game, Watch Dogs said that they're, they're making a new game coming out in next year. So there's gonna be new plenty of games coming out next year. Quantum Break just announced if you pre-order the game. You will have a digital code to play for PC and of course Xbox fans are a little offended by that because as you can see PS4 always have exclusive games just for exclusive for PlayStation. So I guess Xbox fans are saying like listen we want our this game to be just Xbox One. We don't want it for PC. But you fail to understand Xbox One is PC. We we look at it. You got Windows 10 on that bitch. Like are you fucking kidding me? Like I don't like Windows 10 because I barely got this this my video webcam up like half the apps don't work and no it's not my laptop don't give me that bullshit okay um but other than that I will post more videos um no I'm not a zombie accomplice person I don't play zombies I I don't play dying light because I, I, I can't play because I don't understand the story so I never play dying light um, so I can't post something that I don't understand the story and I can't tell you what you know what's going on or what happened in the previous game so I can't I can't tell you you know how it ended or how it began or how the story goes so if I play that game I'm not gonna know shit and how to do nothing so it's best you know watch somebody else um <laughs> What else I would say, but that's pretty much it um, so far. Um, but I haven't been posting videos because I've been working and I've been sleeping and I've been doing schoolwork. Like, I didn't suspect this kind of schoolwork to come. I didn't suspect a lot of schoolwork. I suspect at least a little bit, but it, it was a lot of schoolwork um, for Spanish. I gotta do, I gotta do store, um, foreign language to graduate. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I know, it, it kind of sucks. But hopefully, during the night, I can play a couple of games. And during the day, I can do my schoolwork. And I gotta take Spanish and statistics. So, yeah, that's my life has been fucked. So, <laughs> that's what happens when you want to be an engineer. You're, you're gonna get, yeah pretty much you're gonna have a lot of fucking math you're gonna have more math than technology lab let's just put it that way but other than that oh and another thing that i got for myself for christmas is this new sound bar yeah i got this um new sound bar i home sound bar i threw away the damn box but yeah this is what i got for christmas so you haven't seen me i've been shopping for christmas and i got a new webcam too 
for my Spanish class, of course, because I'm doing the classes online. But it changes colors and everything. It's pretty cool. I paid $59.99 for this shit. $59? No, $49.99. So it's $49.99 in retail. Somebody's calling me, but I'll see you guys later. And I'll post my next videos. But this is my little gift that I had. So, peace.